In this lesson, we're going to be exporting this for 3D printing and slicing it up. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna go into EV mode just so you can kind of see what it would look like with some shadow. That looks pretty cool. And now, make sure you're, I'm gonna turn my overlays back on just so I can see everything. And let's hit in for the information panel and go to our 3D printing toolbox. And so we just need our ring selected. We could even call it like PTT ring. You can name it anything you'd like. That's what the name of the actual uh, 3D printable file will be called. So we'll just click on that. We can do check all. Everything looks great. And then for export, just click on this little file folder. Just tell Blender where you want your file to go. I'm gonna go into my STL folder here and then say accept. That's where I want it to land. And then make sure your format is STL and hit export. And you'll get your little confirmation down here at the bottom. And now you can bring in your file to any slicer of choice. I'm gonna be using Simplified 3D here. Go to our STL folder and then just bring in our custom ring, PTT ring. Go ahead and open it. And there we go. We've got a perfectly sized ring that will fit your finger and looks awesome. So let's go ahead and look at our settings. We can do 20% infill. We can do layers 0.2 and our shells can be 0.2. And I'm gonna use a raft on this one just to be safe. So hit okay. And let's go ahead and prepare for print. So there we go. Within 13 minutes, we've got a nice ring that can be 3D printed. Let's go ahead and you know scrub through it, make sure everything looks nice. Looks super cool. I'm not seeing any errors or any kind of artifacting going on. So that's a good sign. So hopefully in this lesson you learned a little bit about customizable, flexible workflows in Blender and how to work with text. So let's go ahead and print that thing.